If I had a giant pit bull on my butt, would you suck the pus out, friend? Nope. You're not a good friend. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to the Ed Subcorbin. I'm Rick. And you follow us Instagram, Twitter, for juicy content. It's so juicy. I drink my juicy content every day. It makes me big and strong. Follow us on our personal YouTube channels. Links in the description below, you little turd munchers. <laughs> Did you ever eat poop when you were little? No. What? Some kids do. No. No! Mm -hmm. Did you eat your own boogers? What is wrong with you? No. I, I've seen kids do that. I can't. It's disgusting. Kids do. They pick their nose and then stick it in their Anyways, mouth. but today um, is Good morning, everybody. the festival of, say this? Uh, My Sir It's uh, the 17th through the 27th uh, of October. Um, it, it runs along another one as well. Yeah, the reason I'm looking at this is I'm trying to figure out did we do anything about this last year? Because right, obviously Durga Puja. Yeah, I think October. I think we might have here. <laughs> uh, my Sarda Sara, in the uh, Nadahaba State Festival of the State of Karnataka in India. It's a ten-day festival starting with nine nights called Yes Navaratri. There you go. That's what I know it as. Yeah. Uh, and the last day being hmm, Vijay Diyashami. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. The Hindu festival of Dasara celebrates the victory of good over evil. It was the day in the Hindu legends when goddess Chamadushari, Durga, when, that's how I know her, uh, killed the demon Mahish, Mahishasura. The ninth day of Dasara, called as Mahanvami, is also an auspicious day on which the royal sword is worshipped and is prepared for procession involving elephants, camels, and horses. In Karnataka, on the ninth day, people worship and offer puja to their tools, vehicles, machines, even common households, like a, like a knife uh, mm. items. In Masur, the Masur Palace is lighted daily with nearly 100,000 light bulbs from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. on all days of the festival. This is a long description. <laughs> The main attraction of the 10 day in Mysore is the traditional Dasara procession, locally known as the Jambu Safari, which is held on the streets of Mysore city. In this procession, the idol of the goddess Chamandushawari is placed on a golden mantapa, which is around 750 kilograms or 1,653 pounds of gold on the top of a decorated elephant. Excuse me, this idol is worshiped by the royal couple and other invitees before it is taken around in the procession. Various cultural and religious programs highlighting the dance, music, and culture of the state of Karnataka are performed in front of the illuminated palace. Arjuna, from 2012, has been the lead elephant. Oh, hold on, illuminated palace, period. Arjuna, from 2012, has been the lead elephant and the carrier of the golden mantapa at the Mysore Dasara. This elephant's gonna carry 1,600 pounds of gold? Yeesh. That's a lot, that's heavy. Yeah, that's, that's almost a ton. I mean, they're strong. That's almost one ton. Poor elephant. Dude, that's, um, you're, that's like almost what your mom weighs. <laughs> but anyway, we have two videos. So we have a, a really short one, it's like a minute, and then a three minute one, so. So two short videos. This is, um, the first one is uh, after 10, 10 festival days. Masura Dasara culminates. Got it. Okay. I didn't turn on the speaker. Here we go.
minute video. It's called... Uh, never seen a video of my sort of solder. Forgive me again if I'm mispronouncing that. What happens in Moyes. Right. Cool. Here we go. Be the festival. Really cool. <laughs> we saw those tiger things in uh, one of the, the Canada films. Yes. seems like they have like everything at the festival. Yeah. Well, like, the, there's well, a bunch of different stuff going on. One of the things I love about that com just compared to reading the description was how much they've added so much contemporary things into the festival it seems. Mm -hmm. You know? It seems like it's just a straight up like a fair. Yeah. You know? That's what it seems Dancing like. Dancing and music and food and carnival rides and it always makes you it's so cool to see the all the culture um because obviously we don't get that with our festivals. We have our own, obviously, no, and we don't have a lot of festivals. We got you know, Fourth of July, we got you know, Halloween, we got right. But it's, but it's not really that's it's not really our culture on display. It's right. more of that holiday, right? Which is, I guess, part. I of I guess our culture, the closest but... thing culturally, sincerely, would be the Fourth of July, and and most Memorial people, Day weekend. But most people don't go to a festival. They go. They nah, spend it with their family. True. And grill. Thanksgiving. Yeah, but that's cultural. Nothing. I mean, we this festival. Of, of that grandeur. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, this festival is older than our country. <laughs> Most things are. Yeah. So. <laughs> Including your mother. Like, their, their festivals are older than our, than our country. Mm -hmm. So, and the, it's, there's such a diversity of cultural expression throughout India. It's, it's way beyond. I mean. We do have Southern culture. We do have Northeast culture. We yeah. do have Northwest there's, there's culture. There's regional cultures. Western regional cultures. There's regional culture. But they're not as varied and diverse, just like the topography. It's but just... It's also, I guess, because we're not as old and we also... It's a, 
killed the original people that were here. Yeah, it's not our it's it's not our land. <laughs> there was culture here before. There was <laughs> American genocide. They just go so well together. Uh, <laughs> makes me really sad. <laughs> yeah, America's done some terrible things. Uh, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. No, if you like you see could... that? Go to my personal Twitter account. <laughs> no, and you can just do any kind of a search on the just like the Lakota people and get a, a hint at. In fact, I follow a. Instagram page that's dedicated to the preservation of Lakota culture. So if you want to do about Native Americans, the Lakota Sioux, do it. But that's a whole yeah. other story. Yeah. But yeah, that was super cool. I, if you get to celebrate this year, I hope you do it safely. Yes. Obviously. I mean, I know it's going to be different this year regardless. It is like Calcutta is... It's not even happening? Well, it is, but it's just, the, you know, Indrani was talking about how, and when I'm on the phone with her, we're video talking. There's just, this, there, there's... There's no panels being built. It's just, it's the energy. What are they the doing? Vital, the vitality. They, they have to keep it really, everything's really, really small. Yeah. There's just not much going on, which you've got to do, but make up for it next year. That's what they're doing for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Yeah. There's no crowd. They already canceled the Rose Parade. Yeah. I don't, so, e I don't even know what they're going to do for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I don't know what's going to just going to have a guy named Reggie walk down and go, hey, everybody. And that's it. It'll be I done guess in 30 it's just seconds. Gonna, I don't know if they're going to do the performances. I don't know. What's gonna, obviously there's not going to be a crowd. No, nah. that's not. That's not going to happen. But that that is a huge part of American culture. Yeah, is Thanksgiving the morning Day parade. You wake up and you watch the Macy's Thanksgiving yeah, that's Day been parade going on for like with years. your family. Yeah, that's a huge part huge, of huge, our huge. culture. It's something as most, is the Rose Parade on New Year's Day. I've never attended the Macy's Day parade. Really, you live yeah. in New York so long? Well, New Yorkers don't go to those things. Oh yeah, it's all like like yeah. when Ashley said, "Let's go celebrate New Year's Eve in Times Square." I said. Ash, you know New Yorkers don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People fly in. That's that. one of the different things about the, those festivities here. It's like people from all over the world come and the New Yorkers go, see you. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it from home. You know. I can't tell you how many New Year's Eves I was on Long Island watching it in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, happy, uh, what's it called again, Rick? Um, well, Mysore Dasara. My sort of if that's the right pronunciation, and forgive me if that's not it. Uh, which is is Isn't also it it's a, yeah, not not the brati, not not brati, not brati. Yes. So anybody celebrating? <laughs> Don't <laughs> <laughs>